Hey guys, what's up? This is Random for Reaction and Review UK, September month. Which is a little bit redundant because September is a month. But anyway, I'm going to be 27 this year and I figured throughout the month of September, I'm going to react and review the movies that I personally want to watch. Not that I don't appreciate any of the requests you guys give me, but for the rest of this month are going to be movies that I personally enjoy and are movies that are personal favourites of mine. And yes, the reviews may be a little bit biased and over positive, but if you're the kind of person who only wants angry, hateful videos, well then there are other channels out there. So how do we get started with September month? What a personal favourite of mine. Today's movie up for review is The Goonies. Now, not sure what you think of this movie, but I really enjoyed this as a kid and in my early teens, so does this movie still hold up? Is it still the fun classic that I remember it to be? Let's find out. With that in mind, everybody, grab a a drink. It's time to kick back, relax, and let's watch The Goonies. I don't know, you could just boil some potatoes. You know, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Well, he's better than Daniel Craig. Wow, this kid's really obnoxious, loud, in your face, and a bit of a deadpan snarker. He kind of reminds me of somebody. I just can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, who invited Daria to this movie? <laughs> kind of similar. A fat kid ranting. Insert any Helsing or Big Al joke you want here. Well, that's one way to, um, terrify your victim. Italian singing. Actually pretty good, I like that. Oh cool, they found the entrance of the Batcave. Oh, shut the fuck up. Now who wants to go home, and who wants to come with me? You know, this movie was a game. This is like three different campaigns going on. Campaign 1's like the kids, Campaign 2's like the Fratellis, and Campaign 3 is Chunk and Sloth. Pretty weird when you think about it. Well, it's not exactly going down a war slide with a bunch of hot women, but it's a good second place. One-Eyed Willy, the first Goonie, coming out in theatres. Nah, it'd never work. The Hardy Boys? <laughs> So, uh, which one goes to TNA? What ends up as a drug addict? Okay. <laughs> Does DC Comics know about that? <laughs> Kids, kids, don't tell them too much, they'll make some movie out of it. Oh, wait. So, that was the Goonies movie. If you're wondering why you can't hear it in the background, I'm just doing my third take on this review, because I didn't like how I was phrasing it the first two times, in case you're wondering. Now then, does this movie still hold up? Yeah, I think it does. I mean, it has really likeable characters, really engaging story, 
And it's really funny. I mean, it's one of Spielberg's best, even though he's like, I think he directed this. Let's check. Well, apparently he presented it. It's a Richard Donner film, but whatever. Um, I really found the characters enjoyable. I mean, they, they weren't just like your generic stereotypes, you know, the jock or the nerd and this sort of stuff. They just felt like real people. They felt like real kids we've seen growing up or friends we may have had in our lives. Uh, if I do have any complaints with it, it's probably nitpicks. I mean, nitpicks such as, like, Chunk was really fucking annoying. And, you know, the main character always talk hey, as if he's talking to One-Eyed Willie. That did get a bit old. But apart from that, I really fucking enjoyed this movie. It's got, like I said, really likable characters, really good story. And just the setting, music, and atmosphere, it's fantastic. It's one of those examples of why... Older movies still hold up of versus newer stuff these days. I think this was a movie of the 80s. I can't really remember. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But it's kind of a reminder of why the 80s had some really good ideas. Then the 90s just kind of fucked it all up. And the less we say about today, the better. Do I recommend this movie to others? Absolutely. You need to see this movie. It's one of those movies that you have to at least see before you die. It's... It's got something for everybody. I mean, if you don't like one particular character, there's another character you might like. If you don't like a certain plot angle, there's another plot angle you might like. Although it does leave a few interesting questions, like how did Chunk and Sloth find the pirate ship in the first place? But, again, that just really falls down into nitpicks. But the important thing to ask is, is it a good movie? And I say, yes, it is. Highly recommend this movie to everybody. It has passed the nostalgia test, and it is still worth watching to this day. If you can find a copy of this on DVD, Blu-ray, or even Netflix, or even on YouTube, maybe you can find it on YouTube, give it a go. Uh, this is a personal message to Hollywood. Don't you dare, and I mean don't you ever remake this movie. What we have here is fine the way it is. We don't need a remake, we don't need a sequel, we don't need anything else, just leave it the way it is. You can't beat the original. Well, unless it's, well, let's not get pedantic about it, but anyway... That we come to the end of round one of September month for Reaction and Review UK. I have been Random. Take care, and I'll see you all in the near future. Peace. And that's still a better love story than Edward and Bella. <laughs> and what happened to your braces? Yeah, still a better love story than Twilight.